Hi there, today we're going to be looking at tabs, in particular uh, tab uh, bar controllers. And the tab bar controllers are the little tabs that you see at the bottom of an iPhone. Okay, so I've created a, um, an app here called Rainbow Tabs. Uh, and uh, we're going to go ahead and build a simple app that goes through tabs through some um, different view controllers with different colors. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to embed a tab bar controller. And for us to do that, we need to go into the editor embed in, hold on, got to select your original view controller, editor, embed in, tab bar controller. And what happens here is, let me go ahead and make this smaller. What happens here is this has created a tab bar controller that essentially will keep track of all the tabs that we have. And here we've got our original uh, tab, um, uh, our original view controller. If I click on here and go to the attribute inspector, uh, I'm going to change this um, color to red, okay? And what we're going to do now is um, we're going to go ahead and create another view controller. So I'm going to go ahead and all you have to do is type view controller here. And it was already up there, but I just want to show you this is the one we're looking for if it's not up there for you. Go ahead and drag it and, and bring it up here. And we're going to change this, let's say, to... Um, orange let's go ahead and uh, choose a color here and let's go with orange perfect and now we need to make a connection as well so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to organize this a bit differently um so i'm going to have my main up here let me go ahead and make this a bit bigger and then going forward i'm going to have them here all at the bottom okay and in order for me to um, make a connection between my original tab controller, the root, onto this new view controller that I just created. I right click and I drag. And in this menu right here, I'm gonna choose view controller. And now I've created another uh, view controller. If you've noticed, there was another item here created. And of course, when I launch this app, it'll show me um, the two items at the bottom here. Okay, so let's go ahead and simulate here just to kinda see what this looks like. Okay, so I've got um, the red, and then I've got an item here that takes me to orange. Okay, so that's the first part, pretty simple stuff. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna customize a little bit of this, um, these uh, view controllers, okay? So here's what we're gonna do now. Uh, the first thing that I, want, uh, that I wanna show you is, if you actually go ahead and click on the bottom, um, you, and you go to the attributes inspector, these are the tabs, right? So what you could do here is you could actually um, call the tab something. So right now it says item. I'm going to change this to red and I'm going to change this to orange, obviously, right? So I don't know if you could tell, but if I zoom in here, it no longer says item, it says orange and red. Okay, great. Um, what you could also do is you could actually choose an image. So here right now it says uh, system, um, system item custom but you could actually have an image. I'm gonna zoom in here so you could see it. So I'm changing the red here. So right now it's just a generic square. If I go ahead and um, change it to more, you've probably seen this. If you've seen, um, if you've used an iPhone, favorites, sorry, featured, favorites, um, top rated. Um, there's a whole bunch. Search you've probably seen. Uh, let's see here, history. Anyways, these are built in, but what happens if you want your own custom one? Well, you could go ahead and press custom and call it whatever you want, and then you could choose your own custom image. Now, I have no images here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a few images. So the images I'm gonna add here are from the student resources um, um, book, and let me just go ahead and actually go here, assets. Um, XC assets and we're going to add them here so they'll be available. So if I go ahead and select all of them and drag them right into here, boom. So I've got all these pictures here. Now if I go back to my main.storyboard and I select here and under images, I could go ahead and select all the images that I have added. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose R for red. Okay. And I'm gonna choose for this one, the image is gonna be O for orange. 
Okay, great. So now, if I go ahead and debug and just give the simulator a second, build succeeded, and let's have a look at it. So I've got my two um, tabs here, red and orange. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, the other thing that I want to show you is what you could do is you could actually add badges. So I'm going to go back to this, and these badges right here. Um, this is meant for notifications. So you've seen this if you've ever used a, um, an iPhone app that has uh, badges. So let's say you've got um, obviously a couple in here, and let's say there's a new notification in this item. So you could add a badge. You've probably seen this. That's a popular one. Or you could even add a number, right? Um, so if I go ahead and simulate the app again, build the app again, you're going to see, give it a second, you're going to see now that there is a badge here with the exclamation mark. You don't see one on the orange because I didn't actually tab out of it. So if I tab out and I rebuild, you should see it. Give it a second, and there it is. Um, of course, you could change that uh, using code, <laughs> right? I'm just going to write code here just to show you. You could actually write anything. But what you could do is you could actually change it using code as well. So obviously you don't build it and it's not static. It can change um, whenever you want it to change. So essentially you could put anything you want here. Okay, great.